last weekend, I, I think I grabbed like three or four of them. Like, just grabbed three or four chips like, and walked out. It's Southfire. <laughs> right here. Here's nine little long dance. We're starting to go <laughs> Dedication, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Breeding for the table. Go all out. Creating jobs in the future. Oh.
Correct. Good morning from Wilson, North Carolina, for this USU Soccer National League matchup between McLean Green and Beedling Elite. My name's Cole Orner. And this broadcast is brought to you by Torbo Sports Network. We're glad you're tuning in this morning for this for this matchup. Should be a good one. Uh, these I was had the opportunity to talk to the coaches uh, before they got their teams ready this morning and they were letting me know that they've played against each other several times um, so it should be should be a good matchup and we'll see uh, who comes out on top chilly morning a uh, bit of an overcast uh, hopefully, I think it's supposed to warm up today. It's supposed to get up to about 53, so it should be decent by noon. Beating Elite will be on the red, white, red today. And McLean Green will be on the all white. Both teams are coming out in the field, so looks like we'll get ready here for our first half action, first 45 minutes of the day. Referee getting everybody set. And we are off for our first 45 minutes here in Wilson, North Carolina for this U.S. Youth Soccer National League match. McLean will start off. McLean Green will start off with the ball this morning, looking to keep possession. They do decide to go back to their goalkeeper. Matt Hayes is in goal to start for McLean. Again, McLean doing a nice job here to keep possession of the ball, keep it moving. 
try to get themselves into this match as soon as they can. Beedling seems to be doing uh, a pretty good job to keep themselves in a good defensive shape. Looks like Beedling is playing in a 4-4-2. And it looks like McLean might be playing in something of a 4-3-3, maybe a 3-4-3, three, three, uh, looking to keep a couple guys a little bit higher. And here we go, McLean looking to get in behind, but Beedling does a good uh, job of keeping their defensive shape. Ball comes out wide here to number six, Tom Wenke. Looking to keep possession, going through their center midfielder, number seven, Alan Portillo. Looking over the top, but can't quite get it there is, again, that the Beedling defense does a nice job to keep their shape. McLean has done a good job so far of keeping possession, but really haven't probed and done much to get him behind. Ball does go out of play there for a Beedling throw in. Beedling looking to throw the ball in, and it does go off Beedling player's head, so it will go out for a McLean throw in. Number two, Mikel Rashid throwing the ball in. Throws it into his teammate, and we're off playing again. These are both two very skillful teams in this U-17 matchup. Uh, Beedling is, is from Western PA, uh, out towards that Pittsburgh area, and McLean is up in Northern Virginia. So both had a decent bit of travel to get down here. Beedling had about a seven hour drive. Uh, I would assume from about Northern Virginia, probably looking at about four or five hours as well. Hayes back on the ball, looking forward to Portillo. Looking to keep possession as much as they can here is McLean. Just kind of happy to keep possession, and Beatling seems happy to kind of just sit in and let them have it and work the ball around. Just waiting for McLean to maybe break, break down a bit so that way they can go on the counter. Ball does go out of play here for a Beedling throw in. Do a free kick here for for McLean. Mikel Rashido looked to get the play restarted. Go out to his left back. Portillo back on the ball, looking to get forward. Is able to do so, break, breaks through the Beedling defense a little bit, but again, very stout is the Beedling defense and does a great job to eliminate anything that would happen there. This might be the opportunity here for Beedling, looking to get in behind, looking to play the ball forward to number two, Nico Marsh, who's not quite able to get on the end of it as it runs a little bit too far for him. Again, Hayes and goal, keeping the ball. Goalkeeper in today's game has definitely become uh, the goalkeeper overall in the modern game of soccer has become that 11th field player and looks to get on the ball as much as they can, keep possession for their team. If that back four is under pressure, they're always okay putting their foot on it, taking, taking a touch, turning around, playing it back to their goalkeeper just to keep possession. McLean, as, as I stated, is, is really keeping possession well, but tends to break down as they get into their attacking half. They're not quite able to connect that final piece right now. That was number 11 for Beedling over there, applying a bit of pressure. Joseph Biafora, who's actually currently committed to West Virginia University, will be attending there in the fall of 2019.
Ball crossing into the box. Good shot there by, decent shot there by number 18, Nathan Ward. But Hayes is there to collect it. Decent bit of pressure there from Beedling. Great opportunity there at the top of the box to put something in on goal. It's our first shot of the game. I think that's where Beedling is going to have much of their success. Just waiting for McLean's attack to break down. Then the Beedling to get on the ball. Look to play forward quickly. Get something in the box. Therefore, Nico Marsh has got some size to him. I think... If they can look to put that ball in the box, whip it in, let him go up and win a header, I think they're going to have a lot of success there. Looking to get forward here through number nine, Jared Du Bois. Can't quite get on the end of it, but McLean does win the ball back through Patillo. Looking to go forward, do find number 10, Os Oswaldo Cruz, who takes a shot, but goalkeeper William Gallagher is there to make the save. Good opportunity there for McLean. They're able to pick it up deep in the corner, switch the ball into the center of the field, get a touch, put a shot in on goal, but Gallagher comes up big with a with a save here in the eighth minute. Beadling now looking to get forward, looking to play through Marsh, but again, that just travels just a bit too far, and we'll roll back to Hayes. Hayes looks to keep the ball at his feet. Now he decides to pick it up and see if he plays short, and he will. Looking to keep possession as much as they can. Looking to build out of that back, try to keep the ball. Not looking to give up 50-50s with a punt. I really like how McLean is playing here so far. Looking to keep as much possession as possible. Just had to work on that final product a bit to get in behind or, or get some shots in on goal. Going back here through Rashid. Clayton looking to keep the ball again, looking to go forward over the top. It's going to probably skip in just a bit as this turf is a bit wet here this morning. And it does skip all the way back to Gallagher. Gallagher looking to go big to probably relieve a bit of pressure. Number 10, Cruz on the ball. Looking to go forward. Does Portillo. Cruz again is able to win that back. That was Rafael Perez on the ball. Looking to cross the ball into the box does but it is deflected away by Beedling so we'll have our first corner kick of the game for McLean Portillo will come across to take this one looking to put the ball in the, into a dangerous area for the some of his teammates to get on the end of it ball does go out of play off a of Beedling defender for another corner Decent ball whipped in there towards towards the near post. Just none of the McLean attackers able to get on the end of it. Something in here towards the back post. Aren't quite able to get the head on it. Beedling will track it down. And it will go off of Beedling, off of number 14, Dylan Mira, who looked to shield it out of play. But the McLean attacker, number... 32, Eric Eckler, was there to put a bit of pressure and keep that ball in, and it forced the Beatling defender to play the ball. Ball's back in play, does go out of play for the third corner kick of the game from McLean. Several corner kicks here from McLean. Looking to take this one short. Gets the ball in play, looks to cross it in the box towards the middle of the goal. Does fall towards that back post, but again, Gallagher is there to make another save. Looked like that was number 26, Tom Clark, to get on the end of that one. Beadling looking to keep the ball. And we do have a foul here. 
against B-League. And McLean will look to keep the ball. So far in this one, it's been all McLean. McLean Green as they've done well to keep possession of the ball. But that final bit just hasn't quite been there for him. McLean does put Beedling under a bit of pressure here. Portillo on it, looking to cut inside. Lays it off for his teammate Cruz. Cruz looks to play forward through number 32, Eric Eckler, but is not quite able to find him. The ball runs out of play for a goal kick. Beeling looking to keep possession. Yeah. Pratillo on the ball. Looks like a lot of their play is going to go through Pratillo here. He's kind of playing in that center mid role. Does a nice job of floating around. Finding the ball as much as he can. He's got a good bit of skill. Good bit of pace as well. They can continue to look to get him on the ball and then play forward. They'll have a little bit of success. Ball does go out of play and will be a McLean throw in. We do have three days worth of action here in Wilson, North Carolina for the USU Soccer National League. If you're tuning in and want to watch some other soccer, we have games, this one at 10 o'clock, 12, 2, and 4 today. All being brought to you by Torbo Sports Network. Beeling now looking to have a bit of possession of their own. Trying to build out of the back. That was number 9, Francisco Fernandez on the ball. Looks to play forward. Do find number 11, Jos Joseph Biafora. Looks to find him again. Be a four looking to take the ball forward. Like I said earlier, is committed to WVU. Looks to take a shot, put it in towards the box. McLean defense there to head that one away. Rashid on the ball, looking to find Portillo. Does nicely. A little bit too cute there from McLean and aren't quite able to stay on the end of it. Nice step there by the beating the defender to thwart that away. Good strength there by number 14, Dylan Mira, to hold on to the ball. McLean will settle the ball back down, play back through Hayes. Hayes is able to play out to number three, Tyler Smith, who's going to look to keep possession and take the ball forward. Finds his teammate number 20, Rafael Perez. McLean again doing a nice job to work the ball up the field. Portillo takes a shot, little dip in shot, but again Gallagher is there to easily collect that one. It was right at him. Nico Marsh does a nice job to let that ball run on for Biafora. Marsh looking to see what he can do out there, but does commit a foul, and it will be McLean's ball coming out. Again, McLean looking to keep the ball. Does go back to their goalkeeper, Hayes. Rashid now on the ball, looking to take it forward and find a bit of space. Let's find his teammate in, in number nine, Jared Du Bois. Playing forward through Portillo. Again, looking to get on the ball as much as possible. Gets forward, looks to put the ball in the box. Goes towards that back post, but McLean attack just isn't quite able to get on the end of it. Ball does run out of play for a McLean throw in. Right 
Beeling now, looking to build out. And qu aren't quite able to do so, and the ball will go back out of play. Beeling right now just need to clean up some of their passing as just going a little bit off target. They have the right intentions and the right ideas to try to keep the ball, but that final product just isn't quite there and the accuracy on their passes either. Well, the shot there from the top of the 18. Number nine, Jared DeBuyas does a good job to keep the ball in, is able to put it into the box, but it does go off the McLean attack and goes out of play for a goal kick. That was number 32, Eric Eichler, getting on the end of that one. Beeling now looking to keep possession. Looking to go forward to their forward, Marsh. Marsh settles it down nicely, lays it off to Joe Swerha. Beeling now. Having a bit of possession, looking to go forward. That was a little bit better there from Beedling. Connected a couple passes, we were able to break down the McLean defense, but McLean defense does well to keep their shape. Number 14, Dylan Muir over here on this near side, looking to keep the ball in play, but looks like he tries to do a little bit too much in that ball runs out of play. Marsh. I would like to hear just a little bit more communication between the Beedling players so that way they can try to keep possession a bit more. I think a couple of times they've had some miscommunication between players and aren't quite able to connect that pass that they're looking for. They have the right idea, but it's just that communication portion at times that is letting them down and, and that, that five to ten yard pass that they quite aren't quite able to connect. Looking to get in behind here with Biafora. Biafora looking to go on the end of it. Is able to keep it in, but only does that. We will have an offside here and a free kick for McLean. Portello looking to keep the ball, looks to go forward, plays a big ball over the top. Beeling defense is there to, to clean it up. Beeling is able to pick the ball up here in the midfield. Their number 18, Nathan Ward, who looks to get the ball back off BF4, applying a bit of pressure to Hayes, but Hayes does well to clear the ball out. Again, Portello on the ball. Looks to play that big ball over the top to number nine, Jared DeBoise, who just isn't quite able to stay on the end of it. Be a four on the ball. Looking to take a space. Looking to play Dylan Mira down the line. But just a, it's quite a bit too far, and Mira isn't able to catch up to it. If you're just tuning in, this is the 21st minute of this McLean Green versus Beedling Elite matchup here in Wilson, North Carolina for the U.S. Youth Soccer National League. We appreciate you tuning in to this matchup this morning. McLean again looking to keep possession as they have done so well these first 21 minutes of this match. 
looking to get forward, break down that beetling defense. Looks to play out wide to Cruz, but Cruz is in an offside position. We will have a free kick for Beedling. Again, nice one-two touch combination there for McLean to get themselves forward and keep the ball and break down that Beedling defense a bit. But Cruz does stray a bit offside and Beedling is able to win themselves a free kick and eliminate a bit of pressure. Do look to play it forward through Marsh who isn't quite able to have that first touch he needed to keep the ball. Cruz on it, looking to play to Portillo but isn't able to find him. Here's Rashid. Rashid plays it out wide. Here to, to number six, Wenke. Portillo, great little turn there, looking to put it on his left foot, takes a shot, does hit off the crossbar, and goes in for our first goal of the game. Great finish there by Portillo, is able to pick the ball up just outside the 18, turns it onto his left foot, and strikes it off in off the crossbar. That was number seven, Alan Portillo on the finish. Alan Portillo has done a great job to create almost everything that McLean has had today. He's been picking up the ball in the midfield, looking to spray it wide to his outside mids, and there he's able to find the ball top of the top of the box and comes up with a great finish. There's nothing Gallagher and the Beedling goal could do about that one. Again, Du Bois looking to cross the ball into the box. Drops a bit low, looking to play the ball back out to Cruz. Cruz finds Portillo streaking in towards the box, looking to put on that right foot, takes a shot, does go out for another McLean corner. Patel looking to take this corner. Lane looking to keep possession. Tyler Smith on the ball looking to play it back in the box, but nobody's there and will run into the hands of Gallagher. Looks like we do have some college coaches strolling in to this matchup this morning as there will be, I'm sure, a lot of college coaches, college coaches in this weekend to watch these young players play and see if they can't find that next commit for their program. College coaches always looking for that next star player to add to their program to help their program get to that national tournament. as I'm sure a lot of these players are looking to play at that next level. Ball does go out of play here. Looks like we're going to have a substitution here in a minute for Beedling. Looks like number seven, Michael McCanley. Sorry, Mike, Michael McCanley will be coming in. Again, McLean looking to keep possession. Goes back through Hayes. Ball does go out of play for a McLean throw-in. And we will have our substitution now. And Marsh will be leaving the game. And McKinley will be entering. <coughs> Taking a bit of that size out with Marsh, whose first half will be done. He can re-enter play back in the second half. Rattel looking to cross the ball, does so nicely, but his teammate, number 30, Abel Lewis, not quite able to get on the end of that one. Cruz picks up the ball, plays it back out to Lewis. Lewis looking to cross the ball into the box. Just a bit too tall for their forward, Eric Eichler. But again, Pertillo is there to pick up the seconds. Cruz on it. Looking to get his outside back. Tom Wenke involved. Wenke looking to cross the ball and towards that back post. Ready, 
McLean looking to keep the ball. Cruz looking to take a shot. Does. Little dipper. But just dips just too far in front of the goalkeeper. And Gallagher is able to scoop that one up nicely. That dipping ball on today's wet surface couldn't get can give the goalkeeper a bit of a problem if it's hit well. If that dip happens right in front of the goalkeeper, it becomes very difficult for the goalkeeper to read, and a lot of times they just end up make it, having to make a reaction save and just tip the ball away. Being a goalkeeper myself, I know exactly what the goalkeepers are feeling going through with that dipping ball. Looks like we're, we will have another substitution here for Beedling in a minute. Number five, Alfred Reeder, will be coming into the game. It looks like number 14, Dylan, oh, I'm sorry, number, number nine, Francisco Fernandez, will be leaving the game. Clayton looking to keep possession. Cruz on it. Uses his strength nicely and his technical ability to keep the ball. He's able to find Portillo. Pillow, Portillo goes back out here to number six, Tan Wenke. Tan Wenke looking to play forward through Du Bois. Bo's looking to play forward, uses his speed, but he does foul the B lane defender. Looks like we'll have a substitution here for McLean as their first substitution of the day as Ted Zhang will come into the game, and it looks like Portillo will be leaving. Number seven, Alan Portillo, who did have that goal, that strike to put his team up one nothing here in the first half. Beedling looking to play forward. Trying to find their forward, number four, Joe Schwara but just a bit too tall for him and the ball will run out of play. We'll have another substitution here for Beedling. Looks like number 12, Luke Gladden, will be entering the game. And one of their center backs, number six, Dominic Reeder, will be leaving. We'll have another substitution here for McLean as number 19, Lucas Tabbitt, will be entering. And their tall forward, number 32, Eric Eicher, will have a rest for the rest of the second, first half. Wenke does a nice job to turn and try to let that ball run on. Is fouled, so he'll earn himself a free kick. McLean looking to go forward. Is able to find number 30, Abel Lewis. Lewis looking to work that far sideline. Looks inside to Cruz. Cruz again using that technical ability to keep that ball nice and close. But Beedling does well defensively to stand it up and win the ball back. Let's be a four on the ball. Isn't quite able to keep possession. It looks like we'll have a third substitution here in a minute. For McLean is number 80. Ryan Sevilla Garcia will be entering. Ball does go out of play for a beatling throw in. And we will have that substitution now. So number 80, Ryan Sevilla Garcia will be entering. And it looks like number 30, Abel Lewis, will be leaving.
Beedling looking to keep possession. Beedling doing a nice job to keep possession, looking to go forward here through number four, Joe Schwara. Schwara looking to cut inside. Isn't quite able to keep the ball. But his teammate Mira is able to pick it out here on this near side. Mira looking to get the play restarted. Looking for something big into the box. Does put the ball in towards that near post, but his teammate isn't able to get on the end of it. Shore looking to take a shot, ball will run into the hands of Hayes. McLean looking to build out. Cruz does nicely to keep the ball. Looks like the referee will play a bit of advantage there. DeBose looking to get on it. Looking to find Lucas Tabit out here on the near sideline. Garcia picks the ball up. Beedling looking to play forward through Biafora. Biafora looking to keep possession. Does so nicely until Cruz comes back and wins that tackle. Cruz looking to use his pace to get forward. Finds Tabit. Tabit takes a touch inside. Again, back on the ball is Cruz. McCain looking to get something started, put it into the box. That was Gallagher coming out for it, but it's over his outstretched arm. But the Beedling defense does nicely to get in behind and cover their goalkeeper. McLean's head coach, Alan Portillo, is asking his team to keep possession of the ball right now and look to keep keep it moving. Looking to play something in over the top. Tabose does nicely to settle the ball down for Zhang, but Zhang isn't quite able to get the end on the end of it. And Beedling will be looking to play forward. Beedling keeping the ball here through Mira. Biafora on it. Looking to play inside, but isn't able to connect with his teammate. Beedling looking to keep the ball, isn't quite able to do so, but puts McLean under a bit of pressure and they're forced to play the ball out for a corner kick. Beedling's second corner, looking to put it in towards the near post. But Zhang is in a great position to head that away for another corner kick. <laughs> Whipping it in towards the back post. Does fall, but the main defense is there to clear the ball out. Looking to break quickly, here's McLean. Through DeBose. Beeling cannot keep possession, and the ball gets turned back over to McLean. McLean. Looks like we will have a foul here about 23, 24 yards out from goal. For McLean. Referee looks like he's going to have a word here with one of the beadling defenders. It's like Mikel Rashid 
And Jared DuBose will be standing over this one. See if they can put something in on target. Debose runs over this one. Rashid's there. Puts it in towards that far post. But Gallagher's there to make a save. Rashid was able to hit a nice dipping ball there that went up over top the wall and dipped towards that near post there. Beedling looking to keep possession as much as they can. Break down that McLean defense well. Looking to play one and two touch. They are able to win themselves a throw in in their attacking half. Beedling, looking to stay on it. Play forward, but McLean does a great job to put pressure on the ball and they will go back to their goalkeeper Hayes and Hayes will get everything restarted. Tyler Smith looking to play the ball for it. Looks like we're going to have two substitutions here in a minute for McLean as soon as the ball does go out of play for another stoppage. Looks like number 22, Jake Gielnis. And number 12, Kian. Chavosi. Chavoshi will be entering the game. Shot there by Beedling, but the ball does go wide for a goal kick. And we will have those two substitutions now for McLean. Looks like Cruz will be leaving. along with number 26, Tom Clark. Hayes able to put the ball back in play. T does take his first long goal kick of the game. McLean looking to get the ball restarted quickly. Looking to go with that back four with a bit of pace. Slides it towards the center of the field, but isn't quite able to get on the end of it. Now looking to play forward again through number 19, Lucas Tabit. Tabit looks to play inside. Isn't quite able to keep possession. We have four looking to find it. Doesn't, but Beedling is able to pick up the second ball. Gallagher looking to come out for this one. Does. Isn't quite able to stay on the end of it, but it looks like... The referee here on the near side does have offside. And after the referee is able to see it, we will have an offside, and the ball will be coming out for a beadling throw. Go. Free kick. We'll take this opportunity. U.S. Youth Soccer would like to thank the following national sponsors and partners for their continued support of its teams, coaches, and players. Nike. Sunmade and Target. We'd like to thank them for sponsoring this event and many other U.S. youth soccer events around the country. Without their support, many of these events would not happen. McLean looks to get the Rashid looking to get the ball restarted there quickly, but referee saw something he didn't like and brings it back. So Rashid will now look to play forward. It will clip clip the ball forward there. But Garcia isn't quite able to maintain possession. Beedling now is able to find it and pick it up in the midfield. Looking to dribble two two defenders. Is able to maintain possession. Look. Joshua looking to go forward and is fouled. Impeded at the top of the box here and it will be a free kick 
for Beedling. Beeding will have their first decent opportunity here. Ball is just about a yard outside the 18. Towards this near side. Put five on the wall, look to take it in over top. Does so nicely, but Hayes comes across with a huge save there for McLean to keep the ball out of the back of net and keep themselves up 1-0 in this one. Beeding had a great free kick there. Able to go up over top of the wall. McLean defender looked like to get a little header on it. And Hayes comes up with a big save to keep themselves up 1-0 in this one. Hayes again there to collect it. And it looks like a beating defender ran across the goalkeeper. And we will have a foul. And Hayes will have the ball. And the referee will make him put it on the ground to play out. Hayes looks to play for short through Rashid. We will have a re-kick here as the ball has not left the 18. As any ball that's placed inside that 18-yard box must leave the 18-yard box before anybody else can touch it. Hayes now looks to push his defense up. Does play the ball out nicely. Is able to get it out there to Garcia. Garcia looking to stay on it. And is fouled. Beatling has had several fouls here in these past couple of minutes. And referee is starting to take exception to some of them. Looking to cut inside. Bose is able to stand on the end of it. And that was number 23, or sorry, number 3, Smith, looking to take a shot there from range. Bit of an ambitious shot, as he's asking a lot of himself. If it would have been on goal, I'm sure he would have asked quite a bit of the goalkeeper as well. But again, that ball does go wide and will be a goal kick. Are about to enter... The 45th minute of play here in Wilson, North Carolina for this first half action between Bathing Elite and McLean Green. McLean Green up 1-0 in this one off a goal from Alan Portillo. Here's Tabit on the ball looking to cut inside. Lays it off to his teammate Wenke. One key looking to keep possession, but is dispossessed by number four, Joe Schwara. Schwara looking to get forward. Isn't quite able to keep the ball. And McLean wins it back briefly, but Beeling are there to pick up the loose loose ball. PF4 looking to go forward, but is stood up nicely there by the McLean defender, who just stands his ground, wins the ball back, and McLean is able to keep possession. Looks like the referee will add an extra minute here to this first half action. Beeling looking to see if they can get anything out of this first half as they have been under much of the pressure this first half, but these past couple of minutes have done a better job of keeping possession and looking to get forward. Just qu aren't quite able to break down the McLean defense enough to get anything on goal. But BF4 looking to do something here, is able to take a shot, but Hayes is there to make the save. Hayes looking to throw out to Garcia. Garcia able to get himself stuck in and wins it. Do have a good tackle here in the middle of the field. Looking to get him behind here is Shwara, but Rashid does a nice job of defending that one away.
McLean looking to keep possession. Looking to get forward through her through Garcia. Garcia picks it up, looks across the ball and towards the box to the Bose. Bose is on the end of it, but the ball will gotta play for a goal kick and the referee will end our first half action here in Wilson, North Carolina for this USU soccer National League matchup between McLean Green and Beedling Elite. With McLean Green up one nothing off of an Alan Portillo goal. And what a great goal it was. We look forward to seeing you back here in the second half here in Wilson, North Carolina. will have their first decent opportunity here. Ball is just about a yard outside the 18. Tied. Towards this near side. Put five on the wall, look to take it in over top. Does so nicely, but Hayes comes across with a huge save there. But hey, yeah, you did okay. Any suggestions? No, Felipe, which camera were you again? Which one is the best? The one that you were on. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah, you're right there, right? You know, I'm so good. I should know you need to be in it, bro. Felipe, you did okay. I'm supposed to go on my film. I'm supposed to go on my film. Who is the left one? Marte. Yeah, it's all bad, right? Yeah, no. Is he shaking? He looks cold. Last game, I'll leave like a scarf at least. This is scarf. Just 
Towards this near side. Put five on the wall, look to take it in over top. Does so nicely, but Hayes comes across with a huge save. We're back for second half action here in Wilson, North Carolina for this USU Soccer National League matchup between Beedling Elite and McLean Green. Beedling will start out with the ball second half and will earn themselves an early free kick. We are currently at a 1-0 scoreline in favor of McLean. McLean was able to pick up that ball off of a great goal from Alan Portillo. Portillo was able to pick the ball just outside the 18, put it on his left foot, finish it in off the crossbar, and what a great finish it was. Beatling looking to keep possession, looking to get the ball in the box. That first half was muchly controlled by McLean as they already have most of the possession. I'd say we're somewhere between 70, 30, 60, 40, probably close to that 70, 30 range. See if Beedling is able to keep possession a little bit better here this second half. Move the ball. Look to get in behind. Biggest issue Beedling was having was breaking down that McLean defense. They had a couple opportunities, but Hayes back there in goal came up with a couple big saves. One off a free kick. Ball was definitely had eyes for the back of the net, but Hayes did a great job to keep it out. Beedling is able to pick the ball up here inside the box. Looking to put on his left foot. It was number 17. For Beedling, who's able to finish at that far post, and we are tied at 1 1. That was James Mason Shockley 
coming up from his defensive position after that corner to get the ball, take a touch inside the box, and is able to slot it past Hayes towards that far post. Another good finish there. Again, that was number 17, James Shockley. Beeling able to get one back here early in the second half. Just under three minutes in. We we're tied at 1-1. I think we're going to have quite a game on our hands for this second half. Beeling able to get one back early there, and I think that's exactly what they needed just to build a bit of confidence. Look, now if they can look to keep possession of the ball a little bit more and put McLean under a bit of pressure, but McLean looking to go forward here through Garcia. Garcia is able to take the ball in the box, looks to put it on his left foot, cut it back towards the top of the 18. Number 12 for, for McLean is there to pick it up and finish, and that was Chavoshi. Chavoshi able to pick the ball up, top of the 18. That was Garcia does a nice job to come down this near sideline, cut it back for his teammate running in from the top of the 18, who's there to calmly finish and slot it past the diamond, past the Beedling goalkeeper. McLean do a great job to respond there and put themselves back in the lead with a 2-1 two, two lead here. McLean looking to get the ball. We'll have a hard tackle here against Beedling, and we will have our first yellow card of the game given the number eight, given the number 18 on Beedling. That was Nathan Ward who had a hard tackle there. Referee was quick to see that one and show that yellow card to show all the players that that will not be happening in today's match. Referee will get the play restarted. Well, Sheed here will look to keep the ball. If McLean wants to stay in this, they've got to really get back to that first half mentality of just keeping possession, moving the ball around, which they did so nicely. Didn't really allow Beedling much opportunity to get on the ball or do much with it. Again, McLean looking to get forward here, playing the ball out wide to Garcia. Garcia putting on that left foot, looks to take something towards a cross goal, but Gallagher again there. Gallagher had a couple of big saves in that first half to keep his team at 1 0. Beeling unable to keep the ball in play, and it does roll out of play for a McLean throw in. Smith looking to get the ball back in play. Does, looks to play through his teammate number number 20 Perez Perez looks to find it again drops off nicely from his center defensive mid position gets stuck in there for a great tackle to eliminate any beadling attack beadling on it again if Beedling this half can do a better job of keeping possession, playing one and two touch, keeping the ball moving as much as possible, move it quickly, I think they'll have a little bit better of a chance of breaking down that McLean defense and looking to get in behind. Obviously, that's where they got their first goal off of. Did a nice job of getting the ball into the box. And we're able to finish. Beedling looking to stay on it. Trying to calm the game down a bit here. As it really has been back and forth action this second half. Neither team really able to dwell on the ball for too long or keep possession or have much pressure against the other team. Beedling doing a much better job here of looking to break down the McLean defense. I think they just need to keep moving that ball a little bit quicker. Look to play more two and one one and two touch to keep the game simpler. So I think the more time that they spend on the ball, it's going to allow them to claim defense to keep themselves organized. They've got to be quick in their attack, look to, to probe 
play a ball in with a bit of pace and really break a couple lines of pressure. But McLean is doing a great job here of as that ball breaks down one line, they're getting the next line to apply pressure and not allow the Beatling to f attack to materialize. Beatling here again having to go back to their back four. Which McLean did much of this in the first half when they, when they felt a bit of pressure. They were more than okay putting their foot on it, turning the ball the other way, and going back to their defense. Again, Garcia looking to get on the ball, who's provided much of their attack here the second half. Plays the ball to the second half goal scorer in Javoshi, who isn't able to st stay on the end of it. Beedling now with a throw in. Looking to play out through, Shout through Stokely. Stokely puts his foot on it, or I'm sorry, Shockley. Shockley puts his foot on it, plays it back to his center back. And looking to break a couple lines. And we do have another foul here. This foul going against McLean, and we will have a free kick for Beedling. I have a feeling the intensity of this. This second half will step up a bit. I, I'm sure we'll see some more fouls as players are anxious to try to get something on goal and are going to provide a lot more intensity to try to get that goal. Play a little bit harder as well, and I'm sure we'll have a couple more fouls this second half. Beeling doing a nice job to keep the ball. Good little turn there to get himself in the box was number 18 for Beedling, Nathan Ward, who tries to cut it back, but the ball pinballs around a little bit and does go off him out for a McLean goal kick. Hayes will take this one. Looking to play something quick and short. Doesn't look like anything's on, so I'm sure he'll push his back four up. He'll reset the ball and, and look to play big. He does and is able to nicely find Garcia. Looking to play forward, here's Eckler. Eckler plays the ball wide to number 11, Zhang. Garcia looking to whip the ball in towards the back post, towards Eckler. Eckler can't quite get on the end of it. Ball does fall for his teammate in number 26, Tom Clark, but the ball runs out of play for a goal kick. Beedling gets play restarted here. Again, I would say they've done a better job here the second half to keep possession and keep the ball moving and have definitely broken down that McLean defense a little bit better than they did in the first half, but still aren't quite able to have that final product. There's Shockley on the ball, who is the second half goal scorer here for Beedling. Got him, got his team on the scoreboard. Trying to be, trying to do a little bit too much there was Dominic Reeder, who was dispossessed by Eckler, who had himself a little opportunity, but Gallagher does well to to cover him behind his his defense and and keep anything from happening. Beedling looking to work this sideline here. Justin Cope is doing a nice job of working the ball down the sideline. If you're just tuning in, we are in the second half, about the 57 we're in the 57th minute of this US Youth Soccer National League matchup between Beedling Elite and McLean Green. McLean Green coming from Northern Virginia and Beedling coming from Western PA towards that Pittsburgh area. 
both teams having the opportunity to showcase their talents in front of many college coaches here today. Hoping to get seen and get themselves to the next level. It is a bit of a chilly day here in Wilson, North Carolina, about mid to high 40s. Bit of cloud cover, which adds a little bit more chill to the air with a slight breeze blowing from the far side of the field to this near side. Isn't gonna, doesn't play too much of a factor in how the ball plays today. Looking to keep possession here is Beeling. Like I said, doing a much jo better job this second half of keeping possession, but just quite aren't quite able to find that final bit to break down the McLean defense. I think if they're able to continually move this ball quickly, they're going to have more success. But as was seen in the first half, connecting passes at times that accuracy and the precision that um, that we have seen at times from Beedling wasn't always there and it allowed McLean to pick up the ball and go the other way. Here's Garcia again on it, looking to work this near sideline. Ball does go off what I thought to be the McLean attacker and Garcia. Referee originally saw it differently, but does look at it as they are and we do have a beadling throw in. Garcia picks the ball up. Looking to play the ball forward through Zhang. Garcia just looking to keep the ball. Here's Smith on it. Smith coming up from his outside back position, looking to get involved in the attack as much as he can. As you will see much more in today's game, the, the outside backs like to get involved in play as much as possible, adding an extra bit of pressure in their attack. Garcia there slides, but is unable to keep the ball in. It would have been a heck of a play had he done so. A lot of credit to this McLean defensive. They've done a nice job of staying organized. If one of their center backs steps up, the center defensive mid does a nice job to drop into that hole that the center back just created. The outside backs are doing nicely to get themselves involved in the attack, but realize when it does break down that they do have to work themselves back into play. Smith looking to throw this ball in. Gets in the play to number 20, Perez. Perez looking to play out the other way, and they do so nicely to break a bit of pressure. Again, switching the, the play very quickly, they're able to find themselves a bit of room. But the Beeling defense is there to win it. Looking to play forward quickly towards Biafora, but Rashid, who has played an excellent game there at center back, really has not made, I don't think has really made any mistakes today, but has been a solid defender for, for McLean. He's got some great height to him, reads the game very, very well, puts himself in great positions. We'll have a chance here for McLean. The attacker goes down in the box, but referee doesn't see it the way they want it, and Beedling is able to win the ball back and play out the other way. Beeling looking to counter quickly through their forward number two, Marsh. Isn't able to get on the end of it. Hazel slow this down, look to play big here. Relieve a bit of pressure, decides to do so through a drop kick. Falls nicely for Eckler. Able to play the ball out here to Garcia, who's really provided much of the attack in this second half for McLean. Looking to get forward, but Beedling the Thunder does a nice job to put his body in the way and not allow Garcia to get around him. Able to break a bit of the pressure. Looking to play forward through Biafora, who is committed to West Virginia University. Be going there in the fall of 2019. 
Garcia on it again. McLean today has been so calm on the ball, gets their head up nicely, touches have been very close and under control, have really just done an excellent job just to not rush anything, not force many passes. If they are under pressure or okay putting their foot on it, going back the other way and keep the ball moving. And I think it's kind of really pulled the Beeling defense out as they've tried to apply pressure at times. And there's number 12, for McLean with a shot and they're already going to finish it up and get their third goal of the game. One kind of caught me off guard. Get you a number here in a second on that goal. Looks like number 30, Ava Lewis will be checking into the game. I believe that was number 19, Lucas Tabbitt, on the tap in there. Chavosi was able to pick the ball up, take a shot in. Cal Gallagher, Gallagher made a great first save. Did his job nicely on that first one, but ball unfortunately just fell right to the other McLean attacker and Tabbitt, who's able to calmly tap it home for their third goal of the game. And it does put McLean up 3-1. Not always the best score line to be in as any two goal advantage is never that comfortable for a team as the other team's always only two goals away of putting themselves back in the game. I'm sure McLean here would like to get another goal and put the score 4-1 as three goals ahead looks a lot nicer than two as it gives themselves a bit of a cushion Looking to play forward through Eckler. Eckler tries to settle the ball down for his teammate number 30, Lewis, who just entered the game. I think Beedling has done a better job the second half of keeping possession, but McLean has done a good job of taking, taking care of the opportunities that they've had. I think the biggest thing for Beeling is they haven't really been able to break down that McLean defense is you have Rashid back there for the defense for McLean along with his his center back partner in number 22 Jake Jalinis. Looks like we're going to have another substitution here for McLean. It'll be number six, Tom Winnicky. Checking into the game. Beeling looking to keep the ball, but again, just aren't able to stay on the end of it. And Tyler Smith is fouled. Looks like Tom Winnicky. Looking to check in, but doesn't have his player pass, which he needs to check into the game. So we'll have to wait for the next stoppage here to get our substitution. Eckler on the ball, looking to play forward. Does and is able to find Tabit. Tabit looking to work that far sideline there. Lays it off, looking to find Eckler in the box, but Eckler isn't quite able to get there, and the ball goes into the hands of Gallagher. Again, Rashid doing a nice job defensively to make sure that Beeling doesn't have much of an attack. We will have two substitutions here. Tom Wenke will come in for Tyler Smith. And number seven, Alan Portillo, will be checking in for number 12, Keon Chavosi. 
who was able to get a goal in this second half, as well did lead the attack on the third goal. Was able to take that shot. The Beedling goalkeeper makes a save, but McLean is there in number 19, Lucas Tabit, to tap it home for their third goal of the game. We are 3-1 in this USU Soccer National League matchup between Beatling Elite and McLean Green. This broadcast is being brought to you by Turbo Sports Network. And I'm your host for the game, Cole Orner. We appreciate you turn, tuning in to this matchup today from Wilson, North Carolina. As it is truly a beautiful day for the game of soccer. It is a bit chilly, but really great weather to play in. Beedling trying hard to see if they can get something going, but are just not able to break down the McLean defense as much as they would like to. Well, was number 30, Abel Lewis looking across the ball in the box and is able to earn himself a corner kick. Lewis will look to get this ball back into play with a corner. Does go towards that near post. Ball flies nicely, but Beedling is there to clean it up. I think Beedling just need a little bit of an extra attacking presence right now as Bia Fora is really the only man up top. Marsh is trying to get up top, and I think they'd be a, a number two, and I think he'd be a good person to find as he's got the height. If they're able to play the ball into it and let him hold it up, so that way he can maybe lay it off for somebody underneath. I think that's where they'd find a little bit more success. But I think they also just need to push more numbers forward and in it's from an attacking standpoint and get some of those midfielders a little bit higher up the field. Maybe push their outside backs on a little bit more to try to add a little bit more pressure to that McLean defense. And the McLean defense is doing a great job of getting pressure high up the field and winning the ball in their attacking half, which allows them to quickly go forward as they're doing now. Looking to find the goal scorer Tabit out there on the far sideline, who's able to apply a bit of pressure. And Portillo is able to get back on the ball, sail it down. He really controlled much of that first half from his center mid position. He likes to wander quite a bit, but does a nice job of when he does get on the ball making sure that he keeps possession and, and finds his teammate. Beedling now looking to get forward here through number seven Michael McCannelly. And we will have a foul against number two Marsh and the ball will be coming out here for McLean. We'll have a substitution entering here number five for Beedling Alfred Ritter. All right. And it looks like Marsh will be exiting the game. Hayes will get the play restarted here. Looks to find Zhang just a little bit over his head. McLean just looking to relieve a bit of pressure. Trying to find Tabit out there on that far sideline. Uses his speed nicely to get, try to get on the end of it. We're able to pick the ball up. Finds Ecker. Ecker plays it out wide to Tabit. Tabit looks to play centrally to number six, Wenke, who then finds his teammate in Portillo. Portillo does the job to switch the play. 
to Perez. Perez looking to play a little clip ball under the top, just not quite enough to find his forward. Rashid came sliding in on that one to make a play, but goes down. And it leaves Beedling on the attack, and it looks like the ball will go out of play. And the referee will stop play here as we do have an injury. And it appears to be Mikel Rashid down. Not quite sure what happened there on that one. Looks like the head coach here will just reorganize a bit until Mikel Rashid is able to get himself back in the game. Looks like we'll have another substitution here for Beedling. Number, number 12, Luke Gladden, will check into the game. And number 14, Dylan Mira, will exit. And Rashid has gone over to the trainer here, so he'll get checked out. Hopefully everything's okay with him. As he's done an excellent job back there for the McLean defense to make sure that Beedling really hasn't had much of an opportunity to get themselves in on goal. So McLean is playing down to 10 men here as Rashid has gone off the field. See if they can just keep themselves organized and stay behind the ball as I'm sure they'll just drop as many numbers in behind the ball as they can to really not allow Beedling to have anything happen. And it looks like Mikel Rashid will be getting ready to check back in. And Mikel Rashid is back in the game as he'll retreat back to his center center back position. Be looking to build out now. Looks like we'll have another substitution here in a minute. For McLean is number nine, Jared DeBose will be checking back into the game. As he was able to provide some speed up top for that McLean attack. I'm sure he'll provide the same for him here in the second half. Looking to play a big switch in here to Tabit. Tabit looking to work that far sideline. Is able to get on the end of it. And looks like he takes a bit of a, a tumble there. I would say it looked closer to the dive from my perspective, but. That was number 30, Abel Lewis, able to cut and put it on his right foot and looking to take a shot, but isn't quite able to keep it low enough as it does go high and wide. DeBose will be checking in the game here. And it looks like Tabit's day will be done as he was able to provide one goal for his team today in this 3-1 three no three lead for McLean. If 
you're just tuning in, we're entering the 77th minute of this second half action of USU Soccer National League matchup between Beedling Elite and McLean Green. McLean Green is currently winning 3-1 here in Wilson, North Carolina. We do appreciate you tuning in to today's USU Soccer matchup. And USU Soccer would like to thank some of some of the following national sponsors and partners for the continued support of its teams, coaches, and players. Bag Tags, Premier International Tours, and Positive Coaching Alliance. Without their help, this USU Soccer National League event would not be possible. So we, USU Soccer would like to thank them for their continued support as they provide and help make these events possible. McLean is really still looking to see if they can't get that fourth goal as a 4-1 as a scoreline would look much nicer for them and put them in a better position as I'm sure they would feel more comfortable. Looking to play out quickly into Eckert. Just qu aren't quite able to find him as it drops a bit short. Able Lewis on the ball, able to find Portillo, or Portillo able to find Eckler, looking to play Portillo again, drops the ball. Portillo was able to knock it down in the box, lost it for a second, but able to keep pressure on. Wing gets back, lays it off to his teammate Abel Lewis, who takes a screamer, goes off the crossbar and goes back out. McLean here again. Does have Abel and Eckler. We will have Just looking to keep the ball moving as much as possible and see if they can't get something out of this. As they were able to get one here in the second half, I think they can get another. They just got to continue to move the ball quickly. But it's plays like that from Mikel Rashid that hasn't allowed Beedling to get much going. Portillo on the far sideline. Isn't quite able to keep possession. The ball goes out for Beedling throwing. They quickly get the play restarted, looking to see if they can break quickly here, but aren't able to find their West Virginia commit, Biafora, as McLean is able to head the ball away. Again, that was Mikel Rashid, who's having an excellent game there at center back. Not quite enough on that one as McLean was looking to play the ball over the top there through Rafael Perez. Just didn't step through it enough and didn't have enough leg on it to get it there. Ball has gone out of play here for a goal kick for McLean. Beedling do get, sorry, that was a Beedling goal kick, and Beedling do get the play restarted. Looking to play quickly. Hayes looking to maybe track that one down, but again, Mikel Rashid 
having one heck of a game. Really putting himself on display nicely for the college coaches that are in and around this one. Was well, number seven, Michael McCanley, looking to get the ball into the box. Reader looks to find Justin Cope, who then lays it back off for number eight, Nicholas Schlesinger. Portillo on the ball. Portillo on it again. Slows the game down. Able to find Zhang. Zhang able to find Wenke. Zhang into Perez. Perez looking to get himself forward now. Plays the ball out wide. Goes towards the back post. Great save there from Gallagher to keep this one at 3-1. That was Tom Clark coming up, putting the ball on his left foot, but Gallagher comes up with a huge save to pick that one out. Gallagher really has had an excellent game here for Beedling. Scoreline might not necessarily show it, but he's done a great job to keep him, his team in where they are. And this is Cruz checking back into the game for McLean. As Zhang will leave and his day will be done. Beedling now looking to break here quickly. McLean defense does a nice job to make sure that nothing else happens with that ball played across there by Michael McCanley. Beeling looking to see if they can get something here in the closing minutes of this second half. Do have a corner kick but aren't quite able to get much out of it. Are able to maintain possession work on that far sideline. Looking to see if they can't get the ball back in the box. Do played in towards that near post. Ball does drop towards the top of the box here for McCannelly. McCannelly isn't able to get on the end of it. Ball does stay there. Ball gets played in the box. Again, Rashid is there to nicely head the ball away. And it looks like McLean will be able to clear this one out. And they do, and Cruz is able to get on the end of it, finds Portillo. Portillo quickly looking to release Dubois, but isn't able to make the connection work. <sighs> McLean wins it, and they will have a throw in. Looking to play forward here. DeBose is able to get a toe in there. Does win it. Bit of mixed communication there between the two McLean attackers. DeBose is able to get on the end of it. Takes a touch into the box. Just a bit too big. As the center back there, number eight, Noah Schlesinger, is able to pick that one up and play out to his left back. Beedling looking to build forward here. See if they can through Biafora. Biafora does a nice job to spin his defender, but loses out and is not able to keep possession. Cruz picks it up here in the midfield. Looking to see if he can break away with a bit of that pace that he's shown most of the game. Looks to cross the ball in early to Eckler. 
and it's defended away nicely by Beedling. McLean will have a corner kick here in these closing minutes of the second half in Wilson, North Carolina for this U.S. Youth Soccer National League matchup. Again, we appreciate you tuning in to today's match. It's been a pleasure having you here to watch and listen to this entertaining game. Ball gets played in towards the near post. Dubois is there, isn't quite able to get on the end of it, and Beedling is able to recover. Looking to play out quickly, but again, McLean, excellent job of making sure they're in a good defensive shape. And Cruz is able to work this ball down the far sideline, crosses the ball in. A great low driven ball there towards the center of the, the, center of the goal, but nobody's there to tap it home. Abel Lewis does a, tries to keep this ball in play, but is unable to. Beeling is able to pick the ball up here in the center of the field, looking to switch it out quickly. Keeps the ball moving. Schlesinger looking to go forward. Is able to find his teammate number 18, Nathan Ward. But again, McLean in good defensive shape, able to clear the ball away. Eckler looking to apply a bit of pressure, but isn't able to apply enough to win the ball back. McLean looking to get broken down here, but do a nice job to recover defensively. Bailing looking to work that far sideline. They do win themselves a throw in deep in their attacking half. Do get the play restarted here through Bifora. McLean under a bit of pressure as Beedling is down 3-1 in this one. Looking to see if they can't get something out of this. There's a shot from number 17, Shockley, who has the only goal in this game for Beedling, but it does go high. Hayes gets the ball back into play. She's looking to defend. Is not able to thwart that one away. And Beeling is able to pick the ball up, get into the box through Biafora, but nothing is able to come out of it. Able to keep possession. Break could have been on there for McLean, but the ball takes a bit of an awkward bounce and bounces right over Eckler's foot, and Beeling is able to maintain possession. McLean just looking to kind of keep numbers behind the ball right now and make sure everything that's played in is away. Decent effort there from Biafora, but Hayes is there to clean it up and make sure nothing happens. And that will do it for our second half of this U.S. Youth Soccer National League matchup between Beedling Elite and McLean Green here in Wilson, North Carolina. We want to thank you for tuning in to this one as McLean Green is the victor going winning 3-1. Again, we appreciate you turning in to Two Rush Sports Network. We hope to see you here later.
Obviously now the, 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 the coach, the same guy that coached the, the DAs who were at the like the DA finals in LA. Thank you. 